my friends, we're going to evaluate the integral of x to the fourth times e to the negative x squared from negative infinity to infinity. This is a long integral, but we're going to do it very, very quickly. And just note that I got many modifications of this integral if you want to check those out. Now, we're going to do integration by parts, but first we're going to split this up into x cubed and x uh, times e to the negative x squared. And I'm going to show you why we did that very shortly, but we're going to do integration by parts, which is what we have here. Now, u we're going to set equal to x cubed. Therefore, du is equal to 3x squared dx using the power rule. Therefore, dv is going to equal everything else. So that's what we have here, everything else. Now, the integral of this, I already did. I did it in a video in like two and a half minutes. You can check those out. Uh, check that out. The link's in the description. The integral so of this v is equal to negative e to the negative x squared over 2. And if you take the derivative of this, you will get this function. So this is the integral right here. Uh, okay, we could do this using a u substitution. Anyways, we'll plug this in to what we have for integration by parts. So x cubed is what we have right here. So u is x cubed. Our, DV, our v right here, this is our v, so we plug that into v. We're going from negative infinity to infinity. Minus, which is what we're subtracting here, the integral of v, which we have plugged into here, uh, du, and we solve for du. du is 3x squared dx. Okay, so from here, we can look at this term. This is called the boundary term, and we can evaluate it. Mathematicians like it as a limit, but you can think of plugging in infinity and negative infinity, although mathematicians don't like you plugging in infinity because infinity is a concept not a number anyways uh, this term here goes to zero because the denominator goes to infinity faster than the numerator and so does this term as well same same song so both of these go to zero so this whole term goes to zero so we just need to look at this one now we're going to clean up this term we'll pull out the three halves and this negative cancels with this negative to make it positive and now, see this x squared? We're going to do exactly what we did before. We're going to break it up into x times uh, x. times x, And we're going to do another integration by parts. So we'll get u equal to x. This is our u here, equal to x. So du equals dx, so nothing changed. Now dv is equal to everything else. In this case, it is the same as what we did before, x times e to the negative x squared. We did that here. It's the same thing here. So the integral of this is also the same. It's, it's the same negative e to the negative x squared over 2. So we can substitute that in using integration by parts. So uv, this is our u, u is x here, and v is this part right here. Now, I pulled this negative because this negative belongs to this, but we just I just kind of yanked the negative out. We're going to go from negative infinity to infinity, and then minus uh, the 3 halves is still coming along for the ride, and then the integral of v, this is our v, and du in this case is dx right here. So this term, this boundary term, it's also going to do a, go to zero. So if we think about plugging in infinity, uh, this term goes to zero. This term here goes to zero. So this whole thing goes to zero. So we just need to look at this. And now the integral of this, this is really, we cancel out the negatives and the two comes over to make it four. Well, this is, this is um, not an easy... <laughs> integral, uh, but I will defer you to it. I did this integral. I didn't, it took me about three minutes to explain how I did it, uh, but this integral here from negative infinity to infinity is root pi, uh, so this whole thing is three times root pi divided by four, which is our integral. So the integral of x to the fourth times e to the negative ax squared from zero to infinity is three quarters times root pi. All right, y'all, good luck on your midterms, final exams, assignments, and all that stuff. I'm here for you. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.